Hi everybody, welcome to GCFI. On this channel, you get the juiciest lifestyle and entertainment gist within the Nigerian music industry. This week, a lot happened from Olu Jacobs' 80th birthday to P Square dropping some big news and Babai Jesha getting a 16 year jail sentence. Before we get into the details, pause. Now click the subscribe button if you haven't done so previously. Now, I'm about to serve you. Sit tight. July 11, one of Nollywood's legendary figures, one you never get tired of when he graces your screen, clocked 80. Guess who? Pa? Well, we need to call him Pa now. Olu Jacob. Although he clocked 80 officially on Monday, Olu Jacobs had a birthday bash on Sunday attended by notable actors in the industry including Richard Mufe Damijo, comedian Ali Baba, beauty mogul Tara Durotoye, among others. Even President Mohamed Buhari affirmed the influence of the veteran actor on the film industry saying he has set a standard of professionalism that has attracted global recognition and awards. Born on 11th July 1942, Olu Dotson Bayewu Jacobs, known professionally as Olu Jacobs, has been in the acting industry for over 40 years, starring in television and film roles like The Tomorrow People, Oloi Biri, Squadron and Dogs of War, among others. He has, however, suffered from dementia with level bodies for a while now. Well, while there were commendations for Joker Silva and I care for Olu Jacobs, there was in local Nigerian palace Stray Bullet for Yoruba actor Damola Olatunji. Damola is a Yoruba actor and filmmaker who has recently been hit by sex for role scandals that has rocked his marriage to his colleague Bukola Awoyemi, popularly known as Bukola Aruba. In a tribute to Olu Jacobs, Bukola Aruba wrote, True love is made evident in actions and not in mere words. Mommy J is one special kind of woman. Grandpa Olu Jacobs is obviously reaping the seed he sowed in her. What you do to her at a young age is psychologically, mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually preparing her for your future. Moreover, the good or bad you do to her now is actually for yourself. She becomes what you deposit in her. A psychologically and mentally drained woman will automatically become emotionally detached, drained and less productive. What productivity comes out of brokenness? Happy birthday, grandpa! Ellipsis. She becomes what you do to her. You don't reap what you did not sow. Grandpa. Full stop. Lips sealed. You can decode that. In a separate development, popular Nollywood actress Fuke Akindele may not act for a while now. Following her selection as running mate for the governorship candidate Olajide Adediron, popularly called Jandor. If the popular Jennifer Starr wins, we may see Funke on the screens, but in an unusual fashion. We wish Funke luck, and she's definitely counting on y'all over 20 million fans that she has on social media. Who has the numbers? I have the numbers. I have fans and followers. I'm true to myself. Can you put a figure to the followers? What you're expecting? So if I have over, I have over 19 to 20 million fans on social media. On social media, and they're not the not grassroots. Even. What about the grassroots? Exactly. The grassroots are lots of people. Yeah, because I mean, politics, I say, is not on social media. Exactly. It's the grassroots. I, they are my fans. They feel me. You know that. Outside of Ikorodu. Yes, outside of Ikorodu. I have fans at the grassroots level everywhere. And I'm true to myself. What I'm coming in for is to better the lives of negotiations. I am tired of typing. I'm tired of talking. I want a positive change. I want to get into power to prefer solutions to the major problems we're going through with the support. And by supporting my governor. Yeah, I was going to say cut. <laughs> Now to some other exciting developments this week. Nigerian music duo Paul and Peter Okoye, also known as P Square, created some buzz when they announced they would be dropping new singles. The announcement was made by Peter Okoye and they subsequently followed up that announcement by dropping a teaser for the single Jaye. The music duo, who are also twin brothers, unceremoniously split in 2017 but reunited last year to celebrate their 40th birthday. P Square is also set to host a reunion tour spanning across 100 cities. The tour is tagged hashtag P Square 100 Cities World Tour and it kicks off in London on September 21st. We are happy for P Square and can't wait to see them perform again. But in hindsight, do you think the two will struggle to replicate the level of success they had about 10 years ago? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. 
More good news. Coming in, Nollywood's veteran actress Shola Shobawale is going to India. Popularly known as Tony Tomato, the multi-talented actress in a post on her Instagram page revealed that she will be going to India to join record-breaking director Amisha Dayani Hauja for the project. Comic act brother Shaggy will also feature in the movie. While details of the film's plot remains on the wraps, the filmmaker has repeatedly assured film lovers that it will outdo our debut film Namaste Wahala. Think about Shola Shubawali and Shaggy probably singing Indian songs. Cut, cut, cut! We almost forgot somebody's birthday this week. July 14, Nigerian television host Ebuka Obi Uchendu clocked 40. And for those wondering what Ebuka looks like off the screen, well, his wife, Cynthia Obi Uchendu, listed 40 virtues of the popular face. In an Instagram post, she described him as God-fearing, patient, and kind. Obi Uchendu, who hails from Okija in Anambra State, Nigeria, participated in the first Big Brother Nigeria show and several years after became host of the reality show Big Brother Niger, the long run running Robin Minds talk show, among others. Happy birthday to Ebuka from the Justify crew. Now the biggest news of the week. Justice Olua Tony Taiwo of the Ikeda Domestic Violence and Sexual Offenses Court sentenced Nollywood actor Olari Wajo Minyinka, also known as Babai Jesha, to 16 years imprisonment for sexual assault on a minor. The court found Babai Jesha guilty of indecent treatment of a child, sexual assault and attempted sexual assault, but was discharged and acquitted of sexual assaults by penetration and attempted sexual assaults by penetration. Delivering the judgment, Justice Taiwo said the prosecution failed to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty of all other charges against him. More drama on the entertainment scene, but nothing criminal. Nigerian singer Ruga says he strongly believes he's better than BNXN, previously called Buju. During a question and answer session from fans on Thursday, 14th July 2022, Ruga was told by Twitter user at BNXN001 that BNXN is better than him. Well, Ruga wasn't having it, and he replied. Quote, I love Buju, he's good, but it's not better than me. Everything I've done since the beginning was only Ruga. All my hits are just Ruga. I'm always proud going on stage around the world with my own hits, and everyone is singing along. You see the difference? Well, the drama on the Afrobeat end in Nigeria took a twist when Omale called Ruga and Victoria kids. His tweets read, Ruga gets mine, they talk about BNXN like that for this app, SMH. Mofos do anything for clout out here. Same way Victoni, LOL, my tweets the other time, y'all are really kids, end of quote. As expected, Omale's tweets generated attention with majority calling it a ploy to push his new album, Boy Alone. Talking about new releases, Adekule Gold's new single titled Five Star in which he discusses his battle with Sickle Cell and his current struggle. Tiwa Savage collaborates with YJ on All Day while Gucci releases Speedometer. YBNL Superstar, Fireboy DML and Ashake have Bandana. While Eaya hires Debido and Kiss Daniel for Like, Bad Boy Teams continues his single streak with Is Going. Do well to check them out. All right, those are the big stories from the Nigerian entertainment industry this week. Don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch up with the latest gist and weekly trends in the entertainment circle in Nigeria and Africa on Justify. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.